Well, uh, good morning. This is Greg Burt from the California Family Council. As you can see behind us, uh, we're standing outside the California State Capitol. And um, I have with me today a special guest. Her name is Laura Perry. And she's actually going to be testifying against a bill today in the Senate Health Committee. It's uh, AB 2218. It's a bill that will actually sterilize both children, young teens, and adults with trans-affirming drugs and surgeries. And uh, Laura uh, is going to be testifying along with a doctor named uh, Dr. Uh, Van Meter uh, about this damaging bill. And uh, I just wanted to introduce you to her. She, on her own expense, has flown all the way here from Oklahoma um, to testify uh, here in California. And so, welcome. Thanks Thank so you. much for coming. Um, I know this is our first time to the Capitol, so what, what are your experiences? Uh, well, what do you think so far? <laughs> well, I think it's beautiful. It's certainly beautiful out here in California. Um, but I'm definitely glad here, uh, glad to be here to represent the truth and to tell our side of the story that nobody hears in the media. That's right. And so just to just start off with, I wanted her to just tell her tell you a little bit about her story because she actually lived as a man for uh, several years. Um, and uh, so this bill has, is really uh, concerning to her, and that's why she's here today. And I just want you to hear um, uh, the testimony that she is going to, to give. Um, it's going to be this afternoon, probably between uh, 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock. But uh, so she's going to actually read it here. It's three minutes long, so just hold on to your horses, and uh, she's going to give it right now. I represent thousands who have contacted me and ministries like mine who regret transition. But unlike trying a career or a new sport, transgenderism has permanent, life-altering consequences, many of which cannot be undone. One day, years into my transition, I heard a man on the radio ask, Why is it that transgenders always want to change their body to match their mind, and not just change their mind to match their body? I was angry when I heard that. I didn't want to admit that was possible. But in fact, it is what transgenders need. The problem is in the mind, not the body. In most cases, transgenderism is birthed out of rejection or other emotional wounds. In 2007, I was absolutely convinced I was a man and began taking testosterone. I had two major surgeries, including a double mastectomy, and I had all female organs removed. At first, I thought it was everything I'd ever wanted. I was now legally male, and I had a job where I was only known as male. But eventually, I became more and more depressed. I found out what thousands of others have, 30 of which are chronicled in Walt Heyer's Trans Life Survivors and many others in various documentaries and other books, The Transition Isn't Real. Dr. Barry Starr of Stanford University, an expert geneticist, said no amount of surgery, hormone injections, or anything else will change someone's DNA from a man's to a woman's or vice versa. Not only was the transition not real, but it did not resolve the pain and the underlying issues. I realized one day with horror that I was never going to be a man, but it was too painful to face being a woman. I grappled with the same thoughts of suicide that many do after surgery. Imagine for a moment that you were in my shoes, having permanently altered your body and realizing you had been duped. While transition seems to help at first, it is like taking a painkiller. It numbs the pain, but it doesn't resolve the issue. As the body will build up a tolerance to painkillers, so the human soul builds up a tolerance to the various methods of transition. Eventually, all the affirmation, legal changes, and body alterations are not enough. But thankfully, after nine years of living as transgender, I was rescued from that hell. I should be dead. I considered taking my life. But instead, our Creator and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, rescued me. He told me to leave it all behind and follow Him. Isaiah 53 tells us that he was sent to bind up the brokenhearted, and that is what he did. He has completely healed me and set me free. I have no desires to go back, no gender dysphoria. I've now become so feminine, many do not believe I was ever transgender. I implore you to vote no on AB 2218, because it will enable thousands more innocent children and even naive adults who are hurting to permanently maim their bodies unnecessarily. Through counseling and other therapies, I've seen many go on to live productive lives without transition and are able to embrace their true identity. Living as transgender is a living hell. Who do you trust? One who is just beginning a journey and telling you how wonderful it is, or one who has made the entire journey, barely escaping alive and warning others not to follow? So she's going to say that before the Senate Health Committee today. Um, and I think it's just a, p a powerful testimony to God's power 
uh, in our lives and really the real solution um, and that uh, what the government now is pushing and funding is, is not going to help these folks who are really hurting. It's only going to do irreversible damage to their bodies. And so um, we are hoping uh, that the committee today will reject the bill. Um, and uh, if you would like to participate and give testimony uh, against the bill, you can do that. You can actually go to the uh, California Senate Health Committee website. You can just Google that, California Health Committee website, uh, and they have some instructions because you can call in your op opposition testimony. The hearing is going to happen sometime this afternoon. So. Um, it, uh, we expect it to be happening anytime after 3 o'clock. Uh, so actually, if you watch our Facebook account, we will say and inform you when to call in. So thanks again for being with us today. We are excited about what God's going to do. Uh, and we are excited that the whole uh, Senate Health Committee is going to hear about the transforming power of the gospel and Jesus Christ. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.